facts and paper reports today i'll be teaching you a super super complex model not too hard but makes it's about the level of the ancient dragon if you ever done that so i'd say have a lot a lot of experience in origami and i'd recommend for some of the parts that collapse i'd recommend doing my viking helmet which is, is a similar type of collapse so when you're ready I will show you the dra this is called the fire breathing chaos dragon. This dragon is amazing. It has toes, wings, and it even has a head that breathes fire. It has a really nice tail. I designed it myself. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and let's do it. Okay, so to start this model, you're gonna fold in half in all directions, which means you're gonna fold in half edge to edge in both directions. Today, I used, for that dragon, I used a 47, I guess, my 47 inch sheet of, um, sheet of, what's the word? Tai Uniru paper, which I cut, for, I got it from, um, I got it from, um, Blixar Supplies, which you can get it from, too. I'll be using the same paper for this tutorial. I don't have a lot of space to wear with me. Okay. So like I said, this is a complex model, like really complex. I've never taught anything like it. Like the, it, this makes the Empress bird and the um, scales and everything I've taught make look easy. So make sure you have a strong thin paper and a paper that's good for shaping. It's a, and it, I'd say you have to have at least seven years of experience in origami, if not more. I don't, but I almost I have almost seven years of experience. Right, I started origami in June, on June um around June twentieth, twenty fourteen. So close enough. Right now it's May eighth, twenty twenty one. So I guess it's good enough. Okay, so once you do that, you're gonna um. So I'm still folding in half in all directions. Sorry about that. I'm going a bit slowly because, like I said, I don't have a lot of space on my desk. I've been doing school a lot. And I have a lot of other stuff. Another, a lot of other junk. Maybe it's in the purpose here. One sec. Okay, now unfold. Now, what you're going to do, so you're going to turn the paper over. By the way, this... In case you, I meant to tell you, for some reason you're using Kami, which I, you should absolutely not be using, but, or more importantly, if you're using a computer with two sides, the finished color, two, I mean two different colors, um, one on each side, the non, the other color should be on this side, and we're about to turn it over, and this should be the, co the final color side. So now, what you're going to do is, let me angle my camera a bit better. We're gonna fold this edge to the diagonal crease, but not fully. You're just gonna line it up and make a pinch right over here at the at the edge and unfold. Now we're gonna do a bit more pre-greasing. This is gonna make an octagon. So now we're gonna rotate the paper and we're gonna make a crease from this point where they crease the pinch points the edge to this corner how so what we're gonna do to do that is we're gonna fold this edge until it hits that point and then you're gonna take it and pivot it until it reaches the corner this time we're gonna make a full crease, unlike last time. Keep going. Perfect. Now you're gonna crease strongly. I meant to say that earlier. Crease very strongly. But like I said earlier, I do absolutely not. If you are, um, um, if you are anywhere near, if you're even, if you're, sorry, anywhere under five years of experience with origami, this is an awful idea for you. 
you will get super frustrated. You will freak out. It will just go crazy. And if you somehow figure that out and you're able to do it, then you go, then you prove me wrong. But I would not expect it. I'd say at least have an experience with a, a few complex models before attempting this. So now, what you're going to do is we're going to do that crease, but all the way around to make an octagon in the center. To do that, we're going to go to this intersection point and fold a crease from that point to this corner, but extend it all the way. So we're going to do that similar to the last one. We're going to line it up, and then we're going to pivot it. Remember, don't crease fully or strongly until you actually line it up. Just kind of line it up carefully because you want because to be honest um like i said use a strong thin paper like tiny roof i mean i guess craft would work too but it, it's a bit too crinkly so i guess maybe a better idea. i use uh like i said i meant to say use, i recommend using paper 40 grams per square meter or some or less otherwise it won't go that well your paper might there's always a possibility your paper it might like get too many layers or it might rip. Anything could happen. So don't get too thin of a paper. So get, I mean, get a thin, super thin, strong paper. Strong is the most important thing. But you don't want to have all these layers stacking up. That's awful. Okay, now we're going to rotate 100, sorry, 90 degrees. Not 180. Okay, now we're going to keep repeating that step. This crease to this corner. check so in case you don't see it that well it's this it's this this point or this point if you need me if you need to see it again and i didn't show that well or something and you don't didn't get it feel free to pause it or rewind the video i am i have been doing this for a while so i'm a pretty i'm basically an expert for my age maybe not some people might disagree i mean i I haven't, I mean, it's pretty impressive I designed this, honestly, sorry. Um, but, um, anyways, so now you're gonna make the crease. Okay, now, unfold, and I think you get the point. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it a bit differently. We're gonna keep it instead of, so like I did it wrong, we're actually not gonna rotate it. Let me move my, my computer over a bit. That might be better. Okay, so now, this is a bit different. We're going to keep it in this angle. And instead of folding from this point to here, we're gonna, we don't see a point over here. So instead, we're going to use this point, this intersection point. Remember, don't crease perfectly. No one can do that. Well, I guess some people can do that, like some really experts, but so but just try your best. If you can't get it, NBD or no big deal. That's what teachers say. Oops, I think I did it wrong. Did I? Hmm. Oh, I did something wrong. Sorry. One sec. Let me read you that. Okay, I meant to do, sorry, made a mistake, one sec. Hmm. One sec, I'm trying to figure this out. I definitely did something wrong. Okay, there we go. Got it. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to... One sec. I'm having a bit of a hard time. 
Thanks, Gabe. Okay. So we made the crease. Now we're gonna do um, we're gonna line it up again. So that we go to the point. Sorry about the mistake, guys. No, it's perfect, right? Okay, I, I'm obviously not gonna screw up this video because I worked pretty hard on it. I'm not wasting a, sheet, wasting a sheet of time in your room. It's pretty expensive paper. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, one sec. Rotate at 90 degrees, like usual. Then, we're going to make a crease from this point to this point. Hey. hey I'm recording. Uh -huh. I'm recording, just so you know. Okay. Okay, anyways. Now, let's see, make this crease. It should look like, oops. Like this. Then we're gonna fold, like usual, from this intersection point to this corner. the best you can. Sometimes I realize that if you push in the point hard enough, it'll automatically pivot it without even holding it down. But that just happens sometimes. Okay, let me, let me align it. Okay, make a strong crease as usual. Okay, this will be, just you know, this will be a full tutorial. Whether it takes like two or three hours or not, it's going to be a full tutorial. I might bring it up into parts, I don't know, but most likely it won't. Okay, now we're going to do the last two of them. So, we're going to do that, this point, this point, all the way to the corner. And, like usual, make a full crease. Yeah, I, I, like I said, this collapse is quite hard, and it's even hard, it's not too hard, but for anyone who does, hasn't had experience with these types of collapses, probably won't get it, and will be hard for them, like very hard. This took a lot of editing, and a lot of work, so please, um, if you want more videos like this, and you like my models, make sure to subscribe and like this video. You don't have to, but... And you know what, me, I turn off comments because I've heard of that people on the internet. But if you want to tell me something, just, um, I'll try to, later I'll send out my email so you can ask me, like, to design something or something. Okay, so now we have our fin our almost finished. Actually, it's finished. Oh, wait, not. We have to make one more grease which is this one. We're gonna make a crease from this point to this corner. And then I'll, like as usual, I'll make a full crease. Wait a second. Never mind, it is this point. Wait, no, one sec, gotta think. Okay, let me just tr check it out real quick. Yeah, you're gonna make a crease from this intersection point. All the, to this, to the bottom left corner. Make it go all the way, like all these creases. Just 
you're liking. Good enough, right? Nothing's perfect. Now, this is a bit of a tricky, this, not really tricky compared to this, but this is a fun step. What you're going to do is, let me look how long the video is so far. You're going to make a crease from this point. So, where this, this, and this crease meet. So, this crease, this crease, and here, I'll show you. This point. You're going to make a crease from that point all the way across. So, this edge is still a line. Like this. Now, unfold. And fold this edge to this crease. And then, so to speed things up, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this edge. To this line where this real edge meets this raw edge is is well let's just say it is that makes the most sense i guess this isn't going to be a full tutorial but i guess i need some stuff but anyways we'll, we'll try my best yeah i think i can do it If I need to get out and make a part two or something, then, sorry. Okay, then unfold completely, and you're gonna re go along the first crease to, um, to make it a valley fold, and keep it folded, actually. Believe it or not. Mm -hmm. um, interesting. Okay, now, I'm going to take this raw edge and fold it to the edge right now. And then I'm going to fold this crease up. And then fold it back down. Then fold up. I'm basically gonna repeat this twice more, including this time. Oh, by the way, if this video gets ten likes, I don't care when it is, as long as the video no nope, five likes, I'll design a chaos dragon, fire ring chaos dragon with scales. Sounds cool, right? I'll try my best. So make sure to like the video. Oops. Make sure your creases are extra strong. Make sure your creases are extra strong. Then, oops, sorry, that sounded a bit weird. Then you're gonna fold this edge to this crease, except you're only you're not gonna crease. You're just gonna crease the thick part. You're not gonna. You might be able to see through the paper if you have thin paper, but you're not gonna fully crease it. In fact, you're barely gonna crease. It. You're gonna crease it just here so that you get this crease. Then you're gonna repeat. Sorry, I don't have the best lighting. I'm trying. I just. I was. I'm, I just tried my best. I'm not perfect. Okay, and we have the creases. And we're going to repeat that on the other three sides. Because you know my models, they're always symmetrical. I should try to make them symmetrical. Some of the tails look to a side or something, who knows. Okay, now, we're going to repeat that 
And as you know, I don't believe in making um, tutorials that have um, um, that don't have like it in real time. So I just show it. Sorry, that don't have it in time lapse. So I, um, so I, I don't like time lapse. Um, I or just skipping parts out. I like to make sure people see the repeat. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so your crease. Make it strong, and then unfold, pull the edge to the crease. And then, you're going to fold this edge long flap in half. Remember, this crease has to be extra strong. And hold on to it. And then, as usual, we're going to make an accordion. Then, fold along the next crease and pull down to the edge. Okay, now we're going to do that a couple more times. Yeah, the creep. Pre-creasing shouldn't take too long. Neither should the collapse. The more long part is the stuff after the collapse. I think we'll break it up into four parts. Yeah, I'll break it up into four parts. So this is part one of the chaos dra the fire breathing chaos dragon tutorial. Like I said, um, I I don't feel like you know what? Yeah. Basically, I hope you're going to like the tutorial, but um, I can't say for sure. So, if this video, like I said, gets five likes, I, I promise, and I actually mean it. See, I'm not crossing my fingers. I, I promise that I'll try to design a Chaos Dragon with scales. I'll try my best. It doesn't, I might not be able to design it right away, but I can only do what I can. But I'll attempt to design a Chaos Dragon with scales. And, um, if this, if I hit 20 subscribers by the end of March, I will, no, but by, by, by June 20th, which is when I started, which is when I hit my seven year mark, approximately. Yes, seven, June 20th, which is when I hit my seven year mark for, um, origami. I will, if we have 20 subscribers by then, if, no, as long as, if we have more, great. Um, I will, um, design a, um, I will design a dragon, like, um, that is, that is, no, not a dragon. I'll design, um, how about, you know what? I don't know. I'll design it. Maybe, you know what? I'll design something, oh, an action model, a really cool action model. How about, um, you know what? I'm going to design a puzzle piece. Box. No, that doesn't seem right. Well, you'll, you'll see. You know what? Let's add it all together. If I hit, um, five likes. But and twenty or and or twenty subscribers by up uh, in this video or these it were total of these videos for the Chaos Dragon. I will make a tutorial. Um, but um, if we hit it, uh, in, almost instantly when we hit it, uh, of us in my attempt of designing a Chaos Dragon with scales, which I think you're gonna find pretty cool. I mean, I my I mean, scales are pretty are simple enough. For, for, like, my version of scales. Reason scales are a bit more complicated. Can I say? I mean, I'm able to do reason scales, I just can't do reason. It's too hard. 
I probably could if I put the time and effort into it, but I'm more into designing my own models. Okay, so let's draw and crease. Unhold, pull it up. I think you get the hang of it by now. But I'm still going to narrate it in case you forgot. But this should this means you shouldn't need to um um have to re this means you shouldn't need to rewind the video. But if you need to, feel free to. And if you find it hard, you can you can um first you should relax, then you can choose to rewind. Or restart. Um, if you, well, m most of you hopefully you only need to rewind. But if your pet paper is completely ruined or something, then you might have to completely restart, which would be bad. But that's what happens sometimes when you don't make good enough creases. So it's not always people your fault. I mean, it's not always people's fault who do the work on me. Maybe if someone showed it wrong. I was, I do, I was working on, ancient dra on the Ancient Dragon and some guy, I'm not going to mention any names in case they're watching the video, but some guy made an awful tutorial and I was trying to do it and then and he was, was his words were off. It was awful. And I got so frustrated. I was I was so frustrated. I don't want to talk about like what I did when I was frustrated, but um, I was really annoyed. And then I found another tutorial that explained it a lot better. So, um, yeah. I won't make an ancient dragon tutorial. I, I believe I, will only, I only will make a tutorial. Um, I mostly only make a tutorial on my models, but, um, that's just me. I don't believe, I don't really want to ask, um, to, um, signal, no, not signal, to email Satoshi Kamiya or whatever his name is. Um, for a uh, permission to make a tutorial on the Ancient Dragon. But, um, anyways, this is the Firebring Chaos Dragon, which I think looks just this cool, if not cooler. I mean, I don't really have horns on the head, I'm working on that. This is version 1, this is 1.0. I'm sure I'll design a cooler, better version in my later, in the future. In my later career with origami. My later or not myself. Unfortunately, I won't be making crease pattern tutorials, but there is a chance that I will be um, making a crease pattern for um, you guys to follow before I um, before I do the collapse. That way it saves me some time and makes a shorter video. Anywho, um, basically now we're gonna fold this here. And like I said, soon I'll be releasing a crochet channel. If you have, if you had hold of it, heard of it, or you uh, or you don't know much about it, crochet is a, is basically like knitting, except you instead of having a needle, two needles, you have one hook, usually made out of metal, and you take the hook, you loop thread and um around the hook, or I should say yarn, and that uh, and you make loops and basically you put the loops together and do and make projects. It's that simple. But there's harder stitches. There's easier stitches. It's like knitting, except I think it's a bit simpler because you don't have to like manage all these loops. And I haven't tried anything much, but you don't have to manage all these loops. You don't have to um, use like two things. You just have one hook. That's all. That's it. Okay. Now we're gonna. Unfold completely. I meant to see that earlier, and I totally forgot. Not a big deal, right? Okay, now we're almost done with the pre-creasing. Now we're gonna repeat that one last time, and and we're gonna make sure it aligns well. Oh.
I'm going to just fix these creases. Okay, now I'm creasing strongly. Pay for this for a Okay, now I'll do that crease. And then make it strong as usual. This is quite a long pre crease. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's not too long, though. So, oops. It's around the same time like time of the ancient dragons. So it folds pretty quickly. Even with big paper. But like I said, if you want more tutorials like this, make sure to um, tell me through the like button. You know me. Sure to make it accurate. I'm trying my best. That's what you should do. Try your best. Then I'm gonna do it a few more times. You know the drill by now. Now a couple more creases. Well, I guess three more creases and we'll be done the pre-creasing. That's about a crease. Now, you're going to fold, like usual, this edge up. Make sure it doesn't cramp or cramp or glitch or whatever you want to call it. I guess cramp, I guess is the word I use. And we're going to unfold it. Okay, we are done the pre greasing. So I hope you enjoyed this part one, and I will see you next time with the collapse. Bye. Okay, so never mind about that part two thing. So now I'll be working on teaching you the collapse, which is a bit, quite a bit of fun. It's for some people it's hard, for other people it's not that bad. So what you're gonna start by doing is you're gonna start by making mountain folds on the edge greases. Like this. And then, you're gonna make valleys on the next crease and mountains on the crease after that. Keep doing that. Until you get to the diagonal. Well, I guess you're doing diagonal either way, but once you get to the end, okay. So now. Almost done. I'm 
no, the claps takes a while. We're definitely not almost on that. Once you do that, you're going to fold it down. But don't let these edges fully crease. Then, you're going to go increase the diagonal and make it go up until you hit this crease and this crease. And make those two creases mountain folds. So this crease, I meant to say this crease, and this crease. Takes some time. There we go. We have this. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to we're gonna go to here. So we rotate 45 degrees. We're gonna make the, this crease and mountain gold, and do the next part of the the next side of the octagon. Now we're gonna put this up, and you see this diamond. You're gonna push it in. So it's gonna look this. And you're gonna repeat on all the others. Oh, not all the others, but the other three diamonds in this side. Like I said, this is a bit, quite a, quite a bit of a collapse. And as you see, it's all starting, the border is starting to come together. And I'm going to just push it in and fold it inside. So, like this. It's going to look like that. Then, you're basically going to repeat that three more times. So, basically, you're going to do the, um, like usual. You're going to do the dad, the pleats, the pleat reverses, as I like to call it. Sorry if I'm not feeling as well today. I might not have a full, I might not be as full of myself. Not full, I'm not, not full of myself, but not as full of a person as I am, uh, as I used to be. I'm trying my best to make this tutorial possible, possible, but I, um, I'm going through some sad stuff. My dog has, most likely has to get her eye taken out. But, um, I'm fine, and that's what matters. So anyways, now, oops, we're going to just basically keep repeating it. So we're almost there. Make sure it lines up well. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to go along the diagonal like usual. And make the new side of the octagon. I meant to say octagon, I think. Did I say hexagon? I don't know. Hmm, did I forget a crease? Oh. Let me check something real quick. Did I make a mistake? Is that why? Oh, I see. I made a crease wrong, that's all. Do that real quick. MBD. No big deal. Sorry about that. <sighs> this happens when you make wrong creases. Don't be like me. Mm -hmm. Now, you're gonna do the diamonds thing again. So, you're gonna make it all mount. Let's push it in. On that. Let's push it in. Remember, if this is, you know what? I'm gonna make it a bit easier. I'm not gonna make it about likes, although it still can be. If it hits, um, if if it only one the following has to happen for me to make this the tutorial for the scaled chaos dragon, which I even haven't even designed yet. I will design one and make a tutorial on it. So, the one thing that could happen or more is five likes. Another thing that happened is 20 subscribers. 
to make me um make the make it make the design. And the last thing that could happen is this video gets let's say a thousand views by twenty twenty two. No, that's gonna be too that's gonna be too easy. A thousand views by June twentieth, like the due date for all of them. Of course, I'll make more opportunities in the future, but I'm making this pretty hard because I don't feel like making it. But me, not really. But I guess I could. It's not that bad. But the point is, um, I, I'll make it. I'll make the tutorial if you guys really want me to, and then I'll um. Ow, sorry, your got cramped. Okay, but like I said, if just one, if just one of those things happens, thousand views by, um. If this, which these is probably a thousand views by June twentieth, twenty twenty one. Don't try to trick me. Then I promise I will make a make a design. I will design a scaled chaos dragon, which I think you're gonna find, like I said, pretty cool. Okay. Anyways, we're almost done the border, I guess. I guess we're a bit more than halfway, actually. So not exactly almost done. But once you see the border, you're, the hard part's out of the way. I guess the collapse isn't that bad, but um, for beginners, it's hard, I would say. Okay. And then the diamonds. I think you have the hang of it by now. But I'm, so I'm not going to narrate it anymore. Unless I, I know I'm going to narrate it. So the diamonds mount in case you didn't hear it, forgot it. But my dog will be okay. She doesn't have anything serious if you're wondering. Don't worry. She'll feel better soon. She just had uh, an infection from a tooth that, that she had to get pulled. lately but like I said I'm working as hard as I can to bring this tutorial possible to you guys because I'm afraid I might forget if I do it later but this isn't the best option but but this isn't the best choice but it's what I can do for you guys so keep so if you like these videos like I said enjoy them I'm not forcing you to do anything, but like I said, I work very hard on these mo model designs. So if you feel like you can subscribe, it would be very helpful to me. Thank you. I mean, I'm uh, like I said, I'm trying to hit 20 subscribers by June 20th. But um, that might not just not work. I'll try my best though. Let's see, do the reverses. Then the diamonds. Wait, I forgot how to do this. Really? There we go. And this is, and you'll see later why you need to use a thin and strong paper. But I think you can already tell it's, you're going to need it strong for this collapse. An annoying song from my head. Try to tell you guys what's been going on lately, but not like everything, like my name or where I live or something. So, basically, I'm gonna do the diamonds. Mine is taking some time to form. And I am done the borders. Now, all we have to do is, well, it's hard to explain, but I'm gonna try to explain the best I can. Basically, we're gonna make, uh, basically we're gonna make a mountain fold here and here. 
sorry, here and here, and a valley hold here. Wait, actually, never mind. You're gonna make a valley hold here and here and a mountain hold there. It's pretty simple. Imagine you're making the preliminary base, except it's a, more of an octagon instead of a square. That's really all it is. One sec, I gotta fix something. I should need this crease a bit stronger. Okay, it's almost there. Basically, you're going to line it up. Like I said, see, to your liking, not perfect, of course. Now, this is the tricky part. Basically, you're going to pivot it. That's the hard, frustrating part. You're going to pivot it so that they, this edge, so that the edges align. But first, you're going to make sure this is creased very well. Then you're gonna pivot it. Here, I'll try, I can not know how to explain it with words, so I'll try my best. But basically, you're gonna make this edge align with this edge. So, and it goes, and it crease goes through this point to here, or just around there. I didn't get it perfect because I haven't creased it yet. But for now, hold it in the air or just lean it on a table, but crease in the air. Like I said, this is super frustrating if you, so this is why I recommend having a good amount of patience. To be honest, I'm a bit impatient. So, I try, so I'm trying my best to stay calm. And we have the crease. Now, what we have to do, we have to, one sec. We're gonna fold another one. With the same type of crease. Make sure the diamonds stay together, of course, and make sure it's tucked, not really tucked in, but it's all fold it wrapping around the edge. Most important part. And then a couple more creases. By the way, this is the collapse, and we're almost done it. And it's not working very well, so I'm gonna keep this together. Sometimes you can put on the ground or the table or whatever you're working on. Sometimes it makes it easier. It's only if you have it a good amount already folded correctly.
and just try your best. But it takes a good amount of time to do this part. And then repeat on the other sides. Basically, you're going to try to crease it the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, just to your liking, like I keep saying. Sorry, I keep repeating myself. I just like to make sure I'm heard. Okay, now we're gonna repeat on the other side to make sure it stays together. really hard this part Almost done. Let's make sure my computer doesn't turn off. Okay, now to do that, you're just gonna finish it up by repeating on the other side. Sorry for not showing it that well. I'm trying to be the be do the best I can. Of course, no one's perfect, but I'm trying to get the best camera angle. Maybe this will be better. Hopefully. The most important thing is that I'm able to see it. to do now is just keep it accurate, precise, whatever word you want to use. Like I, said, I meant to say this earlier, but this is the hardest part of it, is flattening the base. Okay, we are done flat, and now flattening it for now, I think. There we go. And we indeed do have the, the fire breathing chaos dragon base. We're just gonna even it out a bit more. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just like I said. Sorry, I keep saying it. Seems I'm really annoying. Okay. 
we are done with the fire breathing chaos dragon base now make sure this part this flap is folded to both sides it's going to be pretty important now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure this flap is folded to the left and you're going to take this flap and we're going to do something with this we're going to make the head so what we're going to do is first i'm going to even this out sorry i keep doing that okay now what you're going to do is you're going to fold it so that this edge aligns with this crease by the way the collapsing is done then make sure it's a strong crease doesn't have to be make sure like this crease as if you're creasing pretty strongly this crease has to be extra strong then pull to the side and fold um this edge the same edge to the crease but the other way so this edge the other edge i should say and we have it now we're going to flip flip that flap over again and we're going to make this crease we just made a mountain bolt and fold it to the same crease that we've been folding to for the last two steps then we're gonna fold this edge if we open this up down so we'll basically gonna make a, a reverse fold like this it's gonna look like that on the inside we're gonna fold it back up and this time we're gonna crease it really strongly which we've never creased before then we're gonna do a squash fold like this type of squash fold it's hard to explain this step but here i'll show you again let me try to zoom in the best i can can't really zoom in that well but basically you're gonna go along this crease put it down put these flaps put these sides of the flaps to whatever the side of the open flap together and push it down it's gonna look like this then we're gonna fold this edge oops well that edge i don't want to do that again one sec paper difficulties once you do that you're gonna fold that edge to this crease unfold now we're going to make a squash fold forming one side of the preliminary base which we only can make one side unfortunately just try your best like i said it doesn't have to be perfect okay now what we're gonna do is we are going to fold make sure my computer doesn't turn off we're gonna fold this edge to this crease and unfold now we need let me zoom out again it's easier to see then we're gonna make a squash fold yeah, another squash fold, I know. And we're about to do a tricky step. But it doesn't really... Actually, we're not. What we're going to do is... We are going to make a pedal fold. If you don't know what that is, it's basically you are going to make... Basically, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like making two rabbit ears feet fused into one, is how I describe it. All in one step. One sec. We're 
gonna fold this up and fold this up and fold it back down and fold to the side so it's gonna look like this repeat on the other side so squash fold you don't really need to make the creek creasing if you don't want to petal hold Fold down, fold to the side. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this up. We're going to make a rabbit ear and fold these up. These are going to be the eyes. You can shape them. I prefer not to. You don't have to. We're going to crease them pretty strongly, so it's going to look like this. It's going to look kind of like a mosquito. Except, we're going to change it a bit, as usual, to make the fire. It's super simple. Just open the tip up. Like that. And it's going to look like this. I, I can't really show it that well. But, he has my lights off. Let me go turn that on. Is that better? Now can you see it? There we go. I think. You saw it in the original model. Now, we're going to do a few simpler steps. Now, I will tell you, don't try to refold this. It will eventually come unfolded. Don't worry. This part. It's easy to fold it again. Because it won't stay in place easily when you do the legs. Now, you're going to make a crease along the actual existing crease this time. Which goes from this point to this point. Fold it. And then, you're going to make um, a sink. Or a closed sink. You're going to just push it in. Close things are a lot of fun, in my opinion. It's going to look like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold. We're basically going to tilt this to the side. And fold this edge of the flap to this edge or crease or vertice or whatever you want to call it. I guess it's not a vertice, actually. It's not even close. Make it strong. Then, what we're going to do, we're going to do something called an outside reverse fold, which is like a reverse fold except it's on the outside. That simple, but it's hard, to, it's hard to explain, but just try your best. Outside reverse folds are not easy. It's going to bring your paper up. Don't get worried. That's what's supposed to happen. doesn't have to be, you know what, yeah, basically, you know, just fold it down and lock in place with this. We'll lock it further later when we make the back. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a half petal fold and fold it back down. Now, we're going to work on the toes later. This is one leg. Make sure you're, you're going to refold this. I need to cut my nails. Okay, now, clip, clip my nails, I mean. Now, we're going to repeat that on this side. And just try it. It doesn't have to be a perfect crease, like I said. It doesn't have to be like exacto. Sorry, not exacto. Exact. Just, just what you can do. That's all I can ask. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
One sec. It's not really working with me. Let me try that again. Sorry I'm taking so long. I bet you guys are faster than me. And then tuck this in as usual. Then the last fold is the half petal fold. Okay, now we're gonna work on the wings. The wings are kind of simple. We're gonna fold have you ever done spring into action? If you did, did, you'll recognize this type of fold. It's pretty simple. Basically, you're going to make a mountain fold. This is to taste, so it doesn't have to be, like, perfect. You're going to make a mountain fold about this much. So, about there to there, but it has to meet at this point. Then, you're going to fold it up. And flatten it up, basically. And it's obviously not going to stay. So, in the air, we're going to turn it over. And make a valley fold to also to taste on it to keep it in place like usual. This is a simple method of keeping things in place. Now we are going to open this. Hey, I'm recording. Okay. You can take a shower then, okay? Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Now um we're gonna um we have the one wing we're gonna repeat on the other try to make it as symmetrical as you can this is where you have to be exact you can already see the dragon starting to take form Feel free to crease it however you want. Make the wing however you want. That's for creativity. Or not really creativity. That's for yours for the, the the way you make the wing is yours for the taking. Make it however you want. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make the other legs. They're a bit simpler, since they're already all the way back here. We just have to make the reverse fold. Well I guess they're the same actually. They're just a bit further back. As you probably could tell, they're the back legs. Um, now, we're going to make this fold. Yes, yeah, the same. Except you're going to have to do it under a few layers. Which can be a bit tricky for some people. But just try your best. And we have three legs. Now, the final leg. This is not taking nearly as long as I expected. I would expect this to take two or three hours. It's much less than that. So well, not, it's over an hour, but from what I did the math, from what I can tell, I could have done the math wrong, but that's my guess. It's approximately one hour and 12 minutes. I could, uh, no, 10 minutes. Because I like math. One sec, tail's falling apart. And 
and you're gonna finish the last leg by holding it down and making the half pedal hold. Okay, I meant to say the half pedal hold is optional, it just helps skinny down the legs. Hopefully it doesn't rip. This is why I'm using thin and strong. This is why you'll see why I'm using thin paper and strong paper. One sec. It's not it's kind of falling apart. Sorry, guys. Obviously not working. Let me try this a couple more times. Okay, we have to finish. Oh wait, that's done. That's not really working that well. One sec. We are hopefully done with the legs, and we are not, obviously. And we are done with the legs. Now all we have to do is shape it. We're gonna work on the tail later. So now we're gonna fold. We actually we have to do something with the tail. While holding it in the air, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna basically gonna make a squash fold. Yeah, crease it too strongly because only through one layer and a few more on the edge. Now, this is the tricky part. I'm gonna crease through a lot of layers. And this is why you need a thin paper. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this down, and then you'll reach inside and puff it out. Or you can pinch it, whatever's easier. And we are gonna work on the toes now. <sighs> Obviously we have to make it a bit bigger of a crease. We have to work on this a bit for it to work out. There we go. Okay, so we're almost done. We have to make sure, we have to work on the toes a bit. So that's simple enough. We just kind of pull it out and pinch each flap. We have to also have to pinch the legs together and pinch the paw or the hand or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to do that again. We, we don't really, we can work on the claws under there if we want, but it's basically the same thing. Now the final thing we must do is make a reverse fold on the tail, and then what we're going to do is, it's pretty simple, 
We're just gonna make a few crimps for pleats. Pleats is the right word. Make sure they're slight and not too big. Our chaos dragon is done. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Wait, I meant to say something. You basically, sh I'm not sure I said it right. You basically shape the claws the same way as you did these, the back claws. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Bye.